Australia is a world renowned destination for travel seeking adventures, natural beauty, vibrant culture, from the iconic Sydney Harbour, Opera House, and the Great Barrier Reefs to the vast outback and tropical rainforest. Australia offers a diverse range of experiences, whether you're surfing along pristine beaches, exploring national parks, or immersing yourself in Aboriginal heritage, including kangaroos and koalas. Adds to the allure, with a welcoming atmosphere and endless exploration opportunities, Australia is the perfect destination for travelers of all types. Tourism plays a crucial role in Australia's economy, contributing significantly to its GDP and employment from 2018 to 2019. Tourism accounted for 3.1% of Australia's annual GDP, generating 60.8 billion. Its revenue supports over 660,000 jobs across various sectors, including hospitality, retail, and transport. The industry helps diversity, diversify income streams, particularly in rural areas, where tourism often forms the backbone of the economy. What sets Australia's tourism sector apart from its other industries is its global appeal and culture significance. While industries like mining, agriculture, and education are major economic drivers, tourism uniquely attracts international attention by showcasing Australia's diverse landscapes, from the Great Barrier Reef to Uluru. The sector also highlights Australia's rich indigenous culture, which creates unique experience for visitors and promotes cultural preservation. Additionally, tourism offers opportunities for sustainable development. The industry generates revenue while encouraging environmental conservation efforts, particularly for ecosystems like the Great Barrier Reef. Unlike resource extractions, tourism is a renewable source of income that can be sustained with proper management making it more aligned with Australia's long-term economic and environmental goals. Despite the challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, which so sharp decline. Hello everyone. I'll be discussing about the decline of the tourism industry in Australia and its economic impact. Over the past few years, Australia's tourism sector has faced an unusual downturn. What caused this significant decline? The answer lies in a combination of factors, including global pandemic and a drastic reduction in international travel. But how exactly did this impact the tourism sector? Let's look deeper. The pandemic led to a sharp drop in both international and domestic tourism, affecting not only the hospitality industry, but also the border service sectors. This decline in visitors' numbers has resulted in lower revenues and it slowed the economic activity, particularly in regions that are highly dependent on tourism. Think about the domino effect. Fewer visitors mean hotels, restaurants and attractions had to either close or operate at reduced capacity. And this ripple effect doesn't stop there. The public sector faced declining tax revenues from tourism activities, affecting the government's budget. As a result, the ability to invest in crucial marketing campaigns to revive the sector was also weakened. So, where does this live or serious Australia's tourism industry today? The tourism sector it remains a vital driver of Australia's national economy contributing significantly to employment, GDP, and regional development. But it is still struggling to recover fully from the effects of the pandemic. Do you think Australia's tourism industry can bounce back stronger than before? By exploring strategic solutions, we aim to help the sector recover stronger 
and become better equipped to handle the future disruptions. Thank you. I'm here to present our strategies to strengthen Australia's tourism industry, which has experienced a major downturn due to the global pandemic. The crisis led to substantial losses in revenue and widespread job reductions. However, through business analytics, we have crafted a comprehensive data-driven recovery plan. Our approach follows us four critical stages, descriptive, diagnostic, predictive, and prescriptive recommendations. We began by conducting an in-depth analysis of the industry's current state to assess the overall impact on revenue and employment across different regions. By analyzing the distribution of tourism revenue, we mapped out high impact areas that need immediate intervention. This step provided a solid foundation to prioritize our focus on the regions that were hit hardest. Next step was to understand why certain regions were affected more than others. By comparing pre-pandemic data and post-pandemic data, we identified that some states suffered more due to their reliance on international tourists. Meanwhile, others faced sharp decline in domestic travel, showing vulnerabilities in their tourism infrastructure. This allowed us to differentiate between the impact of reduced international travel versus decreased domestic tourism, which is critical for designing specific recovery strategies. With a clearer understanding of past and present trends, we then focused on forecasting potential recovery strategies. We developed models ranging from slow to rapid recovery to help stakeholders prepare for various outcomes. These projections allowed us to estimate the time frames and conditions under which each region and sector might recover, empowering stakeholders to make informed strategic decisions. Finally, we translated our insights into actionable recommendations. We propose directing resources towards regions showing slower recovery and with a significant contribution to national tourism economy. For high impact areas, we suggest targeted campaigns to boost local and domestic tourism. Additionally, we recommend implementing training and reskilling initiatives for affected workers, enabling them to adapt to the new roles in the evolving tourism landscape. We also advise policy changes to promote sustainable tourism and build the sector's resilience to future disruptions. Our recommendations aim not just not only just to strengthen the tourism industry, but to but to make it more robust and sustainable for the long term. Hi, I'm Ganga Harshan. Uh, today, I will introduce you to several key data visualizations created using Tableau based on the state tourism satellite accounts 2022-23 dataset. First, a Sanghi chart was created to illustrate the distribution of tourism revenue across various states. Sankey charts are effective for visualizing flows and distributions, showing how different states contribute to the total tourism gross value added. Next, a scatter plot focused on the air, water and transport uh, revenue for Western Australia, highlighting uh, significant data points that exceed a set threshold. Uh, these two visualizations were then combined into a comprehensive dashboard to provide a clear view of tourism revenues and trends. Additionally, a bar chart was designed to display tourism consumption across states, allowing us to visually compare spending patterns. Other visualizations explored the breakdown of international and domestic tourism contributions, as well as direct tourism field jobs by industry and state. Thank you. Today, I would like to touch on some critical trends in Australia tourism sector and the opportunities they present. First, tourism consumption remains heavily concentrated in states like New South Wales, which generated over $15.5 billion last year. In contrast, smaller regions like uh, Tasmania and the Northern Territory accounted for only $43 million and dollar 142 million respectively to close this gap we need to uh, focus on strategic interventions such as marketing this region uh, unique landscapes and uh, cultural heritage to attract more 
visitors uh, when it comes to tourism employment sectors like food services and accommodations we uh, accommodations are dominant uh, new south wales for instance had over 55000 jobs in food services last year however uh, smaller regions are struggling tasmania only had 2500 accommodations jobs to address this we need workforce development program to reskill workers and boost local employment especially in uh, re especially in regions vulnerable to tourism down downturns additionally um, the shift towards domestic tourism is an opportunity we must seize domestic travel spending has increased significantly new south wales alone saw over dollar 5.3 billion in domestic tourism revenue last year uh, by both by focusing on local campaigns and promoting niche experience says like ecotourism especially in regions like tasmania we can capture more of this growing market lastly um, sustainability must be at the core of future tourism strategies by investing in green uh, infrastructure and promoting eco-friendly accommodations we can attract a new wave of environmentally conscious travel uh, while protecting our natural assets uh, in summary by focusing on uh, growth in smaller regions uh, reskilling our workforce and prior prioritizing sustainability we can assure the uh, long term success of australia tourism industry thank you all for your attention to wrap things up let's take a step back and reflect on the insight gained from our analysis Firstly, we observe an uneven recovery across different regions. While the larger states like Victoria, Queensland and New South Wales are bouncing back, smaller regions like uh, smaller regions like Tasmania and no Northern Territories are still lagging behind, which would have benefited from targeted strategic investment. Second, when it comes to tourism-related employment, the food service and accommodation sectors continue to dominate, but there is a ch challenge. Many workers were displaced during the pandemic. That's why workforce development is essential. Reskilling program can help get people back to work. Now let's talk about domestic tourism. We have seen a strong growth in this area, which is great news. With international tourism still below pre-pandemic level, we recommend focusing on and promoting domestic travel. Special packages, local festival and discount could be a key driven in maintaining tourism revenue while we prepare for returning of international visitors. Finally, sustainability is the way forward. Our analysis highlights the growing trends of sustainable tourism in regions like Queensland. This isn't about preserving nature, it's about future proofing of tourism industry. Green initiatives like electric transport and eco-friendly accommodation will not only attract more tourists but also protect Australia's unique natural assets. In conclusion, while the road ahead has its own challenges, we are confident that with the targeted effort in marketing, workforce development, domestic tourism, tourism and sustainability, Australia's tourism sector can not only recover but thrive. Thank you.